All right, guys. Brand new X Max to have a little look at. All right, well, first look, it looks almost the same as the old one. I mean, it's got the, obviously the 8S ESC in there. They've put a, put a fan up on top here. It's got the red alloy bits. Apart from that, the really bar, it looks almost the same. And the difference is all inside here, apparently. It's beefed up gears. Apparently, everything's metal. This thing's going to come out. I don't, I've never liked the Traxxas ESCs from the first one. I've heard stories about these melting already, so this one's coming out and my Max 6 is going in. Right, here's what's left of my old X-Max, guys. Just the chassis and body. And the electrics, what's in that one, is going to go into my new one. See, these newer ones, they've got a lower KV motor. And um, so I'm going to take that out and I'm going to put my old motor in it, which is a higher KV, so that should give us more top speed. And I did like the performance of the old one. And looking at the videos, uh, these, these ones don't look anywhere near as fast as what my old one went. So the electrics from the old one are going to go in this one. All right, so here's the electrics that come out of the old one. I've got the Max 6 and the lower KV motor. And we're just going to chuck this into there. All right, so that's all in, and um, also changed the gearing to a 18 tooth HPI pinion and GPM 50 tooth spur. All right, under here, I'm going to try a little modification. On my old X-Max, I used to get through quite a few diffs and stuff, and a lot of other people have, and I've tried shimming it and spiral cut gears, but the diffs, I don't know, they, they never seem that strong. So on one theory, what I've got, what I think it could be, is if you look in under here, it's all hollow. And I, I, what I'm going to try and do is fill that with epoxy and just try and make the whole lot a bit more rigid. And then hopefully the diffs will last a bit longer. I can't see it harming, so let's give it a go. Another place where I broke my last chassis on the old X-Max is these steering posts here. I snapped one of them off before so I can't see a bit of extra beef around there causing any harm. So there's a few other little hop ups what I've done on here while I was at it. So I put in these um, titanium coated shock shafts. Put them in all around because on my old one I used to snap them sort of fairly often. And then I've put the RPM hubs on. I don't know if you can see that. I'll get the. Can't really see it that well, but yeah, RPM hubs are in there. Um. That's about it. Got the old 8S, the old 6S motor, and Hobbywing Max 6. I've done the steering mod, like what I did on the other one. If you watch my other video, you'll see that on there. How to do the steering mod. So that's done. Um, and that is about it, I think. 
These are the shock shafts by the way, if you're wondering on the part number. I haven't really tried them properly yet, but I'll let you know how good they are later on. Hopefully in a couple of days we'll go out for a little bash and break this bad boy in. Alright guys, thanks for watching and see you again soon.